Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing really well. So if you must be following my channel, you must have seen some shorts I put regarding pet cakes with frosting. So I thought why not share some a recipe with you. So if you here in a bowl, I have taken one egg, but you can take two eggs if you want. You can add chicken, you can add, uh, you know, liver, any meat that you like. If you're making a cat cake, you can add a fish, like it. that's also fine. So what I have done is I've added or some oil. I've added an egg. Now I'm going to whisk it really well. If you want, instead of oil, you can add peanut butter also. That's really good for the pet. And then after I keep whisking it really well. And then once it's whisked well, I'm going to take flour. So here I've taken whole wheat flour. You can take gluten free flour, but there'll be a little uh, difference in the texture. So I've taken whole wheat flour. And then I'm going to make, keep mixing it. And now here I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda. Baking soda will just help the cake to rise more. And it will also give a nice fluffiness to the cake. So I'm adding baking soda to it. Now I'm going to just keep whisking it. Because it's whole wheat. So it's going to take a little more time to bake. And then we are going to add water. So uh, make sure that you keep adding water little by little. So that sometimes you know excess water. Uh, does not get added to the cake so once that is done you can see now i'm just mixing it so that easily it gets in incorporated and i get a really good batter so keep mix mixing it once it becomes really liquidy so, and obviously i water i'm adding slowly little by little so once that is done uh, you can use any uh, even in this you want to add carrots you want to add some vegetables that also you can add in the uh, batter so that's also fine which is anything that's pet friendly you can even add bananas if you like but if you're adding an egg i would say either add an egg or add a banana now you can see our batter is formed here i've taken a cake tin i use a paw shaped mold which i already have and my clients also like this mold really well a lot so i've added the batter into it and then after that you just grease the batter make sure that the batter is greased really well we do not do any cake layering for these cakes okay so now we're going to bake it and then we're going to move towards the frosting so the frosting is pretty simple all you need is just 300 grams of potatoes so actually to around two cakes can be done this cake is one kg so two cakes frosting easily can be done in this recipe so take 300 grams of potatoes now we are going to slice it and make sure that you don't slice it really small normal pieces are fine even if you want to boil these potatoes you can put it in a normal cooker also that is fine just pressure cooker it as long as the potatoes are boiled really well but i just like this method because i don't have a proper cooker in my studio so i just use the pan i add water into it then i'll add the potatoes and even in this if you want you can add some cinnamon a little bit of salt or extra flavor just for taste so you add this and then you can uh, just cook it really well and keep checking till the potatoes become soft so i usually take a knife and i just put it in the potato and once they're soft we'll drain the water and we'll take the potatoes and you know keep the set so we'll remove the water from the potatoes so now it took around 15 to 20 minutes for this so once the water is boiled i covered it with a lid and you can see the potatoes are done so now we are going to whisk this potato so either you can put it in a mixer or you have to just whisk it so you can see the first time we tried my potatoes just flew here and there but we can what we did is for the solution we started adding water little by little so that helped the potato to mash like really well so that's what you need to do if you don't want to add water you can add curd but sometimes i feel that later on when the frosting is done curd the water it releases water so that can create some issue with your cake you can see here i have added haldi but you can add yellow color that is fine any food based color is fine but make sure that you add really little because this is a potato frosting even a little bit of color it's it shines very brightly and also you can hope to you like this recipe and do follow us on instagram and like share and subscribe to my channel on Instagram, I share a lot of healthy recipes. So don't forget to do that. If you have any suggestions also, any new recipe requests, do mention in the comment section. And hope you like this beautiful cake. Don't forget to try it.